All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donald, and today's video, we're going to talk about passive income. Because that's one of the things I always tell you guys to do after every single video. I ask you to check out these passive income videos, but I realize I don't have that many passive income videos. So this is actually going to be a passive income video in which we talk about mining Bitcoin and generating heat for your house. So right now, if you don't know, I'm living in Northern Virginia and it's really weird here because it gets cold like overnight. Like it could be 60 the day before and the next day it could be 40. And for those of you guys who are used to Celsius, imagine it's like three degrees the night before and it becomes like minus three the next day. So that's how it feels like it just gets cold suddenly. And I was looking for a space heater because I'm living in a single be bedroom, a one bedroom, and I don't want to run gas because the gas does not give me a return. Running the central heating here does not give me a return. So I ordered a space heater called Heatbit. You might have heard of it, but what it does is it generates heat for your house while it mines Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is one of the things that I really, really believe in now in crypto winter. It's the only other thing that I'm buying other than Theta and Chainlink. So this video is going to be a full unboxing and setup tutorial for the heat bit. If you decide to get one, you can use my link below to get a discount on your heat bit as well to save you some money. So make sure to do that if you want to warm yourself up in this winter and make money at the same time. Other than that, guys, you know what to do. Go smash that like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you on the inside. All right, guys, so I recently got my heat bit, which is a space heater. I just got it like 10 minutes ago. The delivery guy came in and delivered it. I was waiting for this for a long time actually. I ordered this before Christmas, but I went home and I told them to hold off on delivery until I came back. So I came back and they delivered this today. Now if you don't know what this is, this is a space heater, but instead it has a GPU inside so it can mine Bitcoin. So that's because I don't want to use heat anymore. We're using gas here. I don't want to pay exceptionally high gas bills. And it's only me in a one bedroom space. So that's why I got a space heater. And that's also because I don't want to spend money paying for heat. I want to pay for heat, but I also want that to be generating money for me. So this is a passive income play. If you believe in Bitcoin, which you should, and which is probably why you're watching this video, then you can get this in the link that I have in my pinned comment. I have an affiliate link there that will save you some money. But this is just the unboxing. So let's see what we have in here. So let's flip this around. I have this whole thing on my couch right now, which is probably not safe. But just wanted to give you the whole experience. And it actually looks pretty nifty. So they have this little instruction manual here. It looks like it's just uh, connected to the power. Turn on the back switch at the back and then the LED will start to blink. We'll show you that when I get this connected. So if you see here, I actually moved my whole space so that uh, you might see this background being different from what I have in my previous videos. But well, that's because I'm also ordering uh, iHarvest, which is kind of like the hydrophonic systems to grow vegetables. So I'm going completely like, I can, be, I can almost be off grid, but I'm going to put my hydrophonic system here to grow me some vegetables. So I'm going to save money on purchasing vegetables at the grocery stores because they're getting expensive. I used to buy vegetables for like $1.49 per pound or something. Now it's going to like three bucks per pound. So saving you know, some money there, that was like, $850. I'll also put a link below for or something if you're interested in that. All right, guys. So I moved my heat bit here because I have some janky outlets at the house that I need to get fixed. But here are the instructions, right? We connected to the power. The power is over there. So if you need to find where the power switch is, it's at the back. So where the line comes in, the power switch is actually over here where the line comes in. So I'm trying to show you there. And that that button, that on off button switch, that switch doesn't light up. So don't expect it to light up because it doesn't light up for me. So we plugged it in. And now what you should see is a blinking light. So that's blinking orange, but on 
the video here might be just blinking yellow. So one thing that I noticed is that I actually thought it was broken because that light, it doesn't start blinking until you wait like five seconds. And over here on step four, it says use the front button to turn heat bit on and to change the heating mode. So if you need to do this, you need to press and hold the button, which I did. The on switch mode, it's not actually one second. I held it on for like two seconds and then I went away for like two minutes and then it started blinking because I really thought that it was broken. So give it a second, it needs to power on and stuff and you should be fine. All right, so we're over here on the HeatBit app. You can download this from the Apple I App Store or the Play Store and click OK. Let's enter this. Uh, you gotta put in your phone number to get confirmed. So now that we're in the HeatBit app, we're gonna click the plus HeatBit button and click join network. So actually, if you go that route, you might not be able to join because what you have to do first, as I discovered, I'm just going trial and error right now with you guys. So you go to your Wi-Fi and you actually go to HeatBit and you click that and you enter the password. So you connect your HeatBit to the Wi-Fi. And if you had trouble connecting your HeatBit to your Wi-Fi, that's because the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as we have discovered from Reddit. Good old Reddit comes in to save the day. All right, so we're back here. Let's go add that heat bit again. Click join. All right, now we're finally on step two of four. We can connect our Wi-Fi to our heat bit so it can go online. You're gonna throw in your password for your Wi-Fi and click join. And boom, after all that is done, step four of four is congrats on starting your heat bit journey. Click cool. And you can name your heat bit, name it whatever you want. Gonna name it my YouTube channel because you gotta market yourself somehow. And it looks like we're good. So one more thing that I'm gonna test that you might wanna test, you might get this exclamation mark and that's probably because there's no connection. So looks like on Reddit, the guy said to move it as close to your router as much as possible. Right now in the living room, the router is pretty far from it. So I'm gonna move it rooms and see what happens. You might wanna try the same thing if you're seeing this error. All right guys, so you know when I was showing you that exclamation mark in the red, the problem was that it wasn't turned on. So silly me, make sure that your light is a solid orange. You might see yellow here, but it is orange. So I moved the heat bit next to my router, which is in the bedroom. So now it's already mining Satoshis. By the time I'm speaking right now, it's, not, it's at like 20 Satoshi. So it's pretty cool. You just got to be patient with this because it really takes a while to boot up. That is my advice here. So I spent a couple days mining already. The upper left corner says January 9. I wonder what's wrong with that because that's wrong. The actual date is January 13. So the date here is wrong. But notice that I have almost 21,000 Satoshis. It's been around like three and a half days. January 9 to 13, well actually four days-ish. Or just three and a half days because I started in the middle of the day on January 9. So with three and a half days, we'll just call it four days. I made 21,000 Satoshis, which is around $4 right now. So that in BTC is 0 0.0002. So before you get your heat bit, this is your benchmark. This is what you can expect. 21,000 divided by four days, you can expect to get around like 5,250 Satoshis per day. So that's what you can expect to get rewarded when mining uh, Satoshis with heat bit. So that's all I got for today, guys. That is your full unboxing setup and results tutorial for what you get with the heat bit. If you want one for yourself, remember to check the link below for the heat bit and the iHarvest because you get a discount with those codes. But aside from that, guys, I mean, opportunity is all around you. It just depends on if you're looking or not. So from the looks of this right now, it's not gonna pay for itself, but you have to look further in the future of, all right, it's gonna be winter every single year. It's a recurring thing. You're gonna have to use your heater every single year. And Bitcoin is just gonna appreciate. We know that. So is this gonna be worthwhile? I think it is. And also, if you have a business, you can write this off, right? Because you gotta keep warm in order to work in your home office, right? So make sure to do that too. Other than that, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. And remember guys, continue working, continue building, continue inspiring. See you next time.